So 15.9. CHF fifteen point nine. This is the Swiss franc, so meaning the midpoint will be one because we still need to have the fifteen point nine. Four point four six. Wait, um, mm? just, just on, on the first point on the mm. current, mm. the way you've interpreted it. Um, for, for for the midpoint, I thought we should add the two, the two I should say rate spot rates. Like the way I'll give an example, the way euro, mm. euro has been given the zero point nine. So I thought you add the 0 0.9347 plus 0 0.9369, then you divide by two. So for, so, yeah. for the for the CHF for the shape, um, how did you do it? So now, if you have five kwacha, and I ask you to translate the five kwacha in Zambian kwacha, how much is it? It's still five kwacha. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay. Have you understood okay, anything? Me, it, yes, no, it's not obvious because okay, they've given this rule to say we have to get the mid, mid point rate. But what, what would be the rate for a kwacha to, to a kwacha at any given time? Oh, it would be, yes, the one to one, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Exam pressure, yeah. coach. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Yeah, I'm back with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm back now. Mm -hmm. Seven point zero Eight point eight, seven point two. Okay, are you done with this? <clears throat> then yes. we now do the computations on the midpoint. Use the midpoint. So let's look at what the question says. We start with um, a euro.
plus 0 0.9369 divided by 2 you go to the dollar One point one one, one point one one nine six plus one point one triple two, whatever we get, divide by two. The error three point Therefore, we get divided by two. So for the <coughs> for the pounds, how much is it? The midpoint is zero point nine three five eight. Zero point nine. Sorry. The midpoint, right? Not the yes. ultimate answer. Yes, zero point nine three five eight. Zero point nine. Nine three. Uh -huh. Five eight. This is after I've divided by two, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. That's what, that will be your final answer. This side, isn't it? So it's zero point three. Three five eight. Sorry. Sorry. The, the total I wanted there was um. I thought it was one eight, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one point eight. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. One point eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Seven one six. Seven one six. Mm -hmm. Then here on the US. Yeah, I. <laughs> I didn't show it, I was just putting the outmate. Okay, give me the outmate, it's fine. One. Give me the outmate, it's fine. Okay, that's there is two two point two. Here. Uh -huh. Yes. Two point two. Two point two. Mm -hmm. Four. One eight. Giving us uh giving us one point one. 1.1 1. 1. 209 and tomorrow I'm not going for it so we can start in the morning huh? mm -hmm. the whole okay, week 1.1209 okay. 1. 1. okay then that's yes. this one uh, that one on top is 6 point mm -hmm. 6 eh? for the BRL yes. Six point three. Mm -hmm. One three eight. One three eight. Giving us three point one. Three point one. Five six nine. Five six nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I go back there, 0 
for euro, we say this 0 0.9 three is it five six five eight yeah it's here sorry this zero point nine three five eight <laughs> which is even here, 0 0.9358. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how much? 24.89 times 0 0.3, or divided by, so you divide all this. This divided by your midpoint. Midpoint. The first one gives us uh, the one for 24 euro, mm -hmm. 26.60. 26.60. Mm -hmm. The second one? 24.16. Then for the dollars, dollars is 1.1209. 1.1290, is it? 1.12. It is 09. 09. 09. Mm -hmm. Same. So this they use all this string. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how much do you get for these two? For the first one, how much is it going to be? Uh, I'm I'm getting five point zero seven. Yeah, twenty seven point zero eight. No, 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 it's not possible. The first Which one, one? twenty seven point zero eight times or divided by one point one two. Oh, sorry, that one is twenty four point one six. No, so no you no, already no. put it. No, 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 no. Twenty four point one six is the eighteen point five seven euro. Unless you made a mistake. Maybe I made a mistake when I was writing. Let me let me just oh, the, the, the twenty seven zero eight ah. divide, it's a dollar, right? Let it's all these numbers that you divide your midpoint into these yes. numbers. Uh -huh. So <laughs> yes, the, the twenty seven is let, the one let's, I found. Let's start let's start first. Let's start twenty four point eight nine divided by zero point nine three five eight. Twenty six point six zero. 26.60. Then 18.57 divided by 0 0.9358. How much do you get? 19.84. This is what you had missed. 19.84. 84. Then 27.08 divided by 1.1. Two zero nine. Giving me twenty four point one six. Twenty four point one six. Yes. Then five point six eight divided by one point one two zero nine. Giving me five point five point zero seven. Five point zero seven. Mm -hmm. Then <coughs> we go now to the BR or whatever. Let me just check the rate. It's 3.1569. Giving me. Right. Uh -huh. It's giving you. 
Then the last one, 51.2 divided by 3.1569. How much you get? 16.22. Okay. So I'll just write those. Hello, where they are done? I've already, I, I was okay. writing in the book. Okay. I'm done, thanks. Okay. So now, from this, we need to know who owes who, how much is whatever, what is the net and all that. So come up with the, a table. So we are going to do, uh, transpose this. We'll show the odd to will be vertical, the odd by will be horizontal. So that we come up with a table nicely, which shows who owes who to who nicely, like a matrix. On there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll start here on this matrix. Let me just take this uh, table up here. Start with him. Odd two. The matrix will go like this for the odd two. Then we'll also show odd by. The matrix will go like this. Mm -hmm. So let's put the compounds in order. I'll go back here. We know <coughs> we have, therefore, add, I can just say A, B, C, D. Actually, I shouldn't even say B, C, D. Isn't it? Yes. <coughs> A, B, D. Then on top there as well, it is A, B, C, D. And we can show the total if we want. Okay, so we, you go to that table that you have already, to the thing that we did, the currents. Uh, yeah. Is uh, A, is A owed mm -hmm. by by B, if he, if he is, how much? You go to that table, you now look at the CHF. 
this is where you are getting the information here. Yes. So there. is odd is A. This is where you get these numbers. So is A odd by B? No. Is A odd no. by C? If yes, how much? Yes, A is odd by Colgate. Um, how much? 27. Ah, I need him in the price. Uh -huh. 24.16. Twenty-four point one six. Mm -hmm. Is A odd by D? Hmm? Yes. Yes. How much? Yes. Twelve point two nine. Twelve point two nine. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how much is there? <coughs> the total? Mm -hmm. Thirty-six point four five. Thirty-six point two. Point four five. Point four five. Mm -hmm. Is B odd by A? If so, how much? No. Is B, B not odd. Is B odd, odd by C? And if yes, how much? B is odd, yes, by C. Uh, no. No. Okay. Is B odd by D? If yes, how much? Sixteen point two two. By C or by D? By D. Um, round B. B. B is odd by by D. Yeah. Then, sorry, I think I I think I misled you. B, B is also odd by A. How much? Fifteen point nine zero. Uh huh. Is then B it's also odd? Uh huh. Uh -huh. The next one is uh, the last one is D. How much? D is odd by D by How 16 16.22 point two two. Sixteen point two. Two Sixteen point two. Two two. Uh -huh. How much is the total? Thirty-two point one two. Thirty-two point two. One two. One two. Mm -hmm. Is the C odd by A? If yes, how much? No. They're not odd. Is C odd by B? If yes, how much? Yes, they are odd 26.60. 20, 26.60. 0.60. Mm -hmm. 
Is C odd by D? Don't ask me a question why C is not odd by C. Is C, <laughs> is C odd by D? If yes, how much? No. They are not odd. So I'm meaning the total this side will be 26.6 zero. Is D odd by A? Yes. How much? Hmm? Is D odd by A? D odd, oh yes, uh, 4.46. Hmm? D odd by A, yes. Yeah, <laughs> confusing. It's 4.46. Uh, 4. A odd D, yes, eh? 4.46. 4.46. Mm -hmm. Is D odd by B? Yes. How much? 19.84. 19.84. Is D odd by C? Yes, 5.07. 5.07. How much is the total? 29.37. 29 29.37. 29.37. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so we need to get the totals here. So here, it will be odd by how much is the total here? The first one is 20.36. So we are saying whatever meaning that A owes, isn't it? The whole here, is, this, is, this, is the, this is the obligation that A has towards other members of the subsidiary, right? Yes. So in short, it's a liability. Hello. Yes, coach, I'm, I'm trying to follow. Uh -huh. I, I, so, I honestly didn't think it would break out like this. So since it's a liability, let blank. me have it in red. So give me the number. How much is it? The first one is 20.36. 20.36. So we are saying this is in, in A's balance sheet. This is a liability that A has. Okay. Mm, don't say okay. I agree or what? Because okay is not agreeing. Okay is being surprised. Yes, I, I'm learning. I'm learning and agreeing. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> then, I, I was because this is what was odd by this is odd by A B C D. Uh -huh. So what we are actually looking at now, we are actually saying how much goes into A's books as a liability. Okay. Yes, how much? There is 
46 point in four 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 four. Mm -hmm. And C is uh, twenty nine point two three. Twenty nine point two three. three. Mm -hmm. D. 28.51 28 yes. mm -hmm. Then now we are actually looking at we go to odd two Meaning that this one becomes a what? A receivable, right? Okay, yes. So, this is a trick thing. How much is A odd? So we go back to that table. If we check, we go back to the table you remember this table? How much yes, is sir. it? A odd. A is odd. If you come here, A is odd. How much is this? Is it this? Let me just use a stamp. Let me just change the color first. Mm -hmm. So here, Odd to A, A is odd this, is odd that, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then A is also odd this. So, yes. So, how much is the total there? It's 36.45. So, I'll go to this table 36 oh sorry 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 sorry, sorry. It's 36. Giving you how much? Consider the old buyer as a negative because these are liabilities. Consider all this if you want to, so that you don't get confused. Consider this as liabilities so that you add nice. For the first one, we have um, negative 16.09. Is it a negative? Sorry, for the first one, we have 16.09 as a repeat. 16. Sixteen point as a receivable. Sixteen point zero nine. Zero nine. Mm -hmm. So here you are actually looking at the for B. Eh? How much B is odd? So again, we go back here. I'll change this. So B, B is odd here. B is also odd down there, isn't it? Yes, sir. Let me just let me just answer this call. All right. Yes.
Papa Jay, you look to me and the next, look to me and the next five minutes, and you come on that. Hello? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So, B, B is odd. Is odd. I'm sure you have added whatever B is odd. 15.9 and 16.22, unless I've made a mistake. Have you added? Yes, I, I've added 32.12. Okay. Then, coach, uh, mm -hmm. just an observation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the table on top, that one where we put odd to and the odd by. This Wait. same table now on top, on the total column. This same table? Uh -huh. Yes, now on the last column, the total. Uh -huh. I've noticed it's the same numbers, right? Yes, it's the same numbers. So we can just bring them down. All of Which them. ones? These ones? Oh, I, I didn't... Have to I... Show the Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. so it's, it's like it's starting to be I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah. realize that. I didn't realize that. Actually, it's these same numbers. Yes, you are right. So we shouldn't have been adding them. You are very sharp. You see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's. I didn't realize that. Sorry. Thirty two. Thirty two. I was just wondering because because I asked him, you know, so I was like, uh -huh. this is no. Yeah, it's automatic, yeah. yeah. So ideally, we should just see, approach them like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So how much do you get here? So the second column is the negative 14.32. 14.32. Mm -hmm. So I'll put it in red, showing that it's a negative idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. And maybe I can even do like this. Mm -hmm. Then the other one. So see, we have 2.63 negative. 2.63. Mm -hmm. And the last one, we have 0 0.86 as positive. 0 0.86 as positive. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is quite interesting. <laughs> when I saw this, mm -hmm. I, I was mm -hmm. really blank. So I was wondering because in the exam, mm -hmm. I don't know what demons would have been speaking here. <laughs> but it's making sense, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of straightforward when, when you analyze it. So yeah. now we go back to the rules. So let me open a new page. Yeah, let me do it. We go back to the rules. Everything, you get them from a question paper. You don't need to start thinking. The instructions are supposed to come from the question paper. If the instructions are not there, that is when you can assume. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, go to the question paper. Yes, I, uh, I let have me just, Let me just give it. So the question paper, they are saying settlement will be made. Are you able to see settlement will be made yes. in the order that the company owing the largest net amount? That is the arrangement. The company owing the largest amount in Swiss francs will first settle with the company owed the smallest net amount in Swiss francs. So okay. let me share this. Then let's go back to this. The way, the way I, I, I'm trying to help myself is 
to reconstruct this question. Mm -hmm. In other words, this movie. So the company, which company, first we have to ask ourselves. Mm -hmm. We are trying to dismantle the question nicely so that we understand. Mm -hmm. Which firm, my handwriting is not that good. Which firm? <laughs> Which it's not firm? yours, at least that's the <laughs> consolation. <laughs> no borrowed one. Yeah. Very bad. <laughs> yeah. So which firm has the largest debt? Um so it's, we don't uh, need to guess. Uh -huh. It's which one? Yeah, it's B. Bo it's B. Uh, Bosha. The one okay. at so forty six point four four. No, we go for the net. We go for the net. Oh, we go for the net. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry, to still it will still, still be. be. Yeah, it will still be B. You can't go for the whatever because they were also odd. <coughs> so you go oh, for the okay, net. Yeah, so it's, it's for fourteen point three two. Yeah. Then which company? As uh, the smallest, uh, the least receivable. So, which company has the least receivable? <coughs> Yes, dear. Yes, dear. So, from the arrangement, based on the arrangement, we start with the first one. This is not us, this is based on the agreements, isn't it? Yes. So, based on the arrangement, we are actually saying B will pay Oh, sorry. Not that. Or pay D, how much? The, the, B will pay D, how much? 0 0.86. D is all, is all, all 0 0.86. So we'll pay 0 0.86. So B. Mm -hmm. So when you check, when you go back there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we are actually saying that B will pay, will pay 0 0.86, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. So if B will pay 0 0.86, how much, mm -hmm. okay? Then the question is, how much will these Obligations be after. So in the exam, you have to ask yourself these questions. After. Mm -hmm. 
after paying B. How much? Isn't it, the, isn't it the other way around? Hmm? It, it's, a, it's what? It's, it's B who owes. Oh. D, oh, D okay. has a receivable. Uh, yes, uh. Okay, so. I'm happy you're falling. Because at first we are saying D had how much? 14 what? 14.32. 14. Point, point 0.32. 14.32. 14.32 minus 0 0.86. So how much will be the liability after paying D? Thirteen point four six. Thirteen point four six. Right? Yes. So <laughs> this thirteen point four six. Mm. It will be paid to who? So meaning that now B will have to pay B will have to pay B will have to pay A. Uh, sorry, coach. The instruction we were given. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, my question is about the For for each question, you, it will be a different kind of arrangement, right? It will follow the same logic. But you see, if you go back here, if you go back here, there are only two companies that have been owed now. Yes. There's this. D that has been owed and, and A. A. So you have already paid this. Oh, this okay. has been so fully can, amortized, yeah. fully okay. paid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fully paid. Understand the logic. Yes, I'm going. <laughs> So, and there are also two companies apparently that owes. Uh -huh. So let's get, let's go there. Let's go back there. So, B will have to pay A. It's always interesting breaking down questions. It's always very interesting. Mm -hmm. mm, very easy when it's with you, Coach. Eh? Mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel like I can get 100%. <laughs> mm. But you I'm see, alone. the more yeah. after we do this, again, you go and redo it. Oh, yeah. Understand just the concept. What doesn't make sense, it will not make sense until it makes sense. Sure. So we are actually saying, and, and this is just about like street knowledge, right? It's not really that, no, you yeah. have to go in school to learn this. No, it's about street knowledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So B will have to pay A, how much? 13.46. So the question again will ask, how much? is A's receivable. 16.09. How? 
It can't be 16.09 because uh, Sorry, what was the question? How much is A is receivable? Yes, coach, from I don't know, maybe I'm not mm. getting the question. It's 16.09 from the from the table. The current, the current A is receivable. How much is it? So you mean even after B paying 13.46, it has still remained at 16.09? Because before B paid A 13.46, I do appreciate that the A is receivable 16.09. But is it still oh, the case? Okay, sir. I, I was I was a bit behind. I, I'm still me, I was at the point where you were saying B will pay A. Um 13.46 this oh, which has okay. remained because that is what then the question now would be maybe before I, we ask that question after uh, b has paid how much is b's liability okay all right. after paying this the question i would actually ask you is it's a difference which is 2.63 ah uh -uh, first first how much uh -huh. Is B's liability. Currently it's thirteen point four six. After the the B they has paid already paid. Point. Now B has already paid the thirteen point four six to A. So how much is mm -hmm. B owing anyone? They, have, they don't owe anyone anything now. So the current position, here we're looking at the current position. Mm. So the current position is that B owes no one, Neil. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then, because you are removing your, your 13.46. Mm. Meaning that A is receivable is two point two point what? Two point six three. Two point six three. So the question is who is who is going to pay? Who is going to pay, sorry? Who is going to pay A 2.63? Oh, okay, now it makes sense because um, even Colgate was owing. Mm -hmm. So Colgate is actually owing that exact amount. So Colgate will pay. Wow. Colgate mm, will pay <laughs> A this same amount, Kwamana. Does it make sense? Is it more interesting now? Yes, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. So I um, want you to uh, ask questions. No, it's just uh, okay, maybe because we, we didn't look at uh, like uh, a detailed question when we looked at this was under but this one, time. yeah, but this one is just logic. It's just logic, eh? it's just <laughs> logic. For example, it's a problem. Yeah. That's why you need to I'm do more of this. <laughs> That's why you need to do more of this. Yeah. You need to practice. So that when you are going into that exam, it's a logic, it's things that the examiners have been examining for years, because these things, they just repeat. They just change one or two things. But it's basically strict knowledge. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing, uh, Nam, is about uh, getting the instructions. That is the most yes. important thing. They'll always give you 
the instruction, the examiner will always tell you what you are supposed to do. Like here, you are a statement to be made in the, in the order that the company owns the largest net amount in this France mm -hmm. will settle, will first settle with the company or the smallest net in the Swiss France. So the, if you look at all these questions, the examiner gives you the instructions. It's given, gives you the instruction on how you are going to tackle a particular thing. So, it's, and for me, this is the most important part of your, of your studies, doing a lot of these questions. Because the more we do a lot of these questions, the more we actually get, we get into the mind of the examiner. Because this time, you cannot be tricked on it on the current options, you cannot be tricked on the, on the money markets, you cannot be tricked on futures. You even know that any question on the futures, the examiner indirectly wants you to forecast the future price or rate. Right. Mwamba, mwamba. Mwamba, coach. So, I want you to go and read question three nicely. Read question three for this paper. I read question three for the, in this paper. Just read the whole, the whole question three. Try to do whatever you can do. Tomorrow, let's actually meet at nine hours. At nine? Okay. Yes. At least the whole week, I'm not going for it. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing, don't come and hear these things from me for the first time. And then there will not be learning. You do, you do whatever you can do so that as we move, the logic starts making sense. You can even be smiling to yourself that I think this has made sense. Yeah. yeah. But before you go to right. this, go back mm -hmm. to this other question that we looked at. Start from the word, from the word, go on the current options, what, what, just do the computations. Let it make sense. You can do it even a different way, but as long as it makes sense. Sure. Did it make sense? Yes, very much. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Do a lot of, you are, you, are, you are the one in the gym, so you have to train a lot. Me, I'm just a coach. I don't get into the oh, gym. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be on me. Yes, uh -huh. Okay, just so. Trying to balance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you are balancing the other part theory, it's too much theory. This one now, you have to, we have to continue doing like this. So if, if tomorrow we do question three, the other day we can do question one because I have question two because I've seen also there are some good questions on on cash flows. You we need to yes, sir. You know, do that, yeah. So thank you so much and bye bye. Okay, thank you. Good day. You will let thank me you. know in the login details. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. Thank you.